Today, we're gonna to take you for a walk through the greenhouse and show you eight great spring blooming perennials. Hi, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings and stick with me to see the beautiful spring bloomers in the greenhouse today. Here we have the Virginia. This is the Miss Piggy. Look at those large flower cr clusters, bright magenta pink, and the leaves are just so huge as well. This is a great plant for sun or shade. It gets 16 to 18 inches tall and wide and is hardy in zones four to nine. Jumpstart your garden after the snow melts and bring these bright flowers in. A nice, deep, dark, glossy foliage. And it, the name comes from, if you rub the leaves, it gives a little squeaky noise. They're very tough, tough as rubber, really. A nice plant, like I said, to add that beautiful, bold spring color to those shade to sun gardens. Here we have the Jacob's Ladder called Heaven Scent. And Oh my word, it smells heavenly. Like, I guess I can best describe it as smelling like grapes. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's got nice olive green foliage, these periwinkle blue blooms. It gets about 18 to 24 inches tall and wide and is hardy in zones three to seven. This can be grown in full sun to part shade areas. And it's really a perfect companion for hostas. This beautiful green fern-like leaves and the purple highlights on them. The beautiful fragrant flowers, just a great pairing to go in that part shade garden. This here is the heuchera or corabels called spearmint. It's got beautiful light green foliage with a silver overlay. And check out these bright red bell shaped flowers. They're absolutely a hummingbird's dream. These get about eight to 10 inches tall, the foliage portion. And then the flower spikes there, right now they're about 18 or so inches tall. This is a long blooming heuchera, blooms nearly all summer long. It's hardy in zones four to nine, and is uh, great for the sun or the shade. So really, no matter where you have a little spot in the garden, it's a great addition. I will say though, probably if you're in the south, you might wanna go more of a part shade location. Um, that's just kind of what I'm thinking might be best for southern gardeners. It's a great package of both wonderful foliage and flowers, beautiful silvery green leaves that have the dark, green veining, these beautiful dark pink flowers. Like I said, just a hummingbird's dream come true. This is the heuchera spearmint. Here we have the autumn frost hosta, beautiful kind of bluish green leaves, extra wide margins that are yellow shaped. This is hardy in zones three to nine. And as the summer goes on, the yellow margins are gonna lighten up to a beautiful creamy white coloration. This is a great plant for part shade to full shade areas. And I mean, hostas, there's so many different beautiful textures, colors, and variations going on. I always recommend grab a few that are your favorite, three of them, five of them, group them all together and create a beautiful hosta collection. Or with this one here, it's small enough, even though it's considered a medium-sized hosta, that you could use it as a great border plant as well. So think outside the box when you're buying hosta. Don't be afraid to buy several different sizes, colors, and textures because it really makes a beautiful patchwork of color in a shade garden. Here we have the Queen of Hearts Brunnera. This is a beautiful foliage plant for shade to part shade gardens. Look at the leaves, nice green with that silver overlay. And in the spring, you get these tiny periwinkle blue blooms that are absolutely stunning. This gets 16 to 18 inches tall and wide and creates a nice upright mound. It's uh, hardy in zones three to eight. And these heart shaped leaves, they're just a really a beautiful texture and interest, I think, to add in to those shade gardens. If you know the flowers forget-me-nots, you might think that these flowers resemble a forget-me-not flower, and you're not wrong. The flowers are very similar in look. So if you're looking to add a little spring color to the garden, the Bernera Queen of Hearts. This here is the Heucarella Eye Spy, and check out those beautiful blooms. It is just absolutely loaded with flowers out here in the greenhouse right now. Uh, almost little pink bottle brush looking blooms. And one thing I think that's unique with this heucarella, uh, heucarella is a mix between heuchera and tiarella, if you're wondering where the name came from. Um, but on the bottom here, you can see this is more of its winter coloration. It's a little deeper and darker. And all the new growth that's coming is a little bit brighter and sharper coloration. So that is one thing that you'll find with the heucarella is that it does go through seasonal changes. Um, in the winter, it will look different than it does in the summer. This is an evergreen plant in most areas, although here in Michigan, it is evergreen, but it's nothing that I'm like, oh, come out to my garden and check out my heucarella in the middle of the winter. It's not quite that exciting. Um, but I really am impressed with the amount of blooms on this plant. 
It likes to be grown in a part shade area and virtually blooms all summer long. So I'm going to show you in the greenhouse what the block looks like. It's just, it's a sea of beautiful pink blooms. Really, I think a stunning, stunning look. Could you imagine planting that in mass out in your garden? Just having all these little puffs of pink, simply gorgeous. Let's talk about some sun blooming plants now. Here we have the Dianthus Fruit Punch Cranberry Cocktail. And I wanted to show you this because these flowers are absolutely huge. This plant gets about eight to 10 inches tall and creates a nice mound with these beautiful extra large magenta pink blooms. Uh, they're fragrant. They smell kind of, in my opinion, like cinnamon. I don't know, maybe you smell them differently, but that's how I'm kind of taking off the, the smell to be. They're hardy in zones four to nine and can be grown in full sun to part shade locations. The nice thing with this plant is you're loving these blooms right now. And this plant is a repeat bloomer. So it's gonna to continue to bloom throughout the summer. So not only do you get to enjoy the early season color, you get to enjoy this plant almost until the fall. And to end this video, we are going to be talking about the creeping flax called Rose Sprite. Could you imagine just a sea of this beautiful plant planted as a border or on a hillside? It only gets about five inches tall and it's hardy in zones three to eight. It likes to be grown in a full sun location and is an early spring bloomer. This hybrid flax forms a low mounding habit of rose pink flowers with a tiny white halo in the center. It blooms a week or so after your typical creeping flax, so it really helps kind of extend that creeping flax season. Beautiful small blooms, gorgeous wel welcome to spring. Not very fragrant. <laughs> I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.